Welcome back to the Warbird Mistress with a walk through the war. Today is Thursday, 11th of December, 1941. On the international scene, Italy declares war on the United States, followed by Hitler's announcement of Germany's declaration hours later. In return, the United States Congress declares war on Germany and Italy, as the United States joins a world conflict on every front. In the American Theater of Operations, the Caribbean Air Force's 7th Reconnaissance Squadron Heavy of 6th Bomber Command transfers from Howard Field Canal Zone to David, Panama with their B-17s and B-18s. The 74th Bombardment Squadron Heavy 6th Bombardment Group Heavy transfers from Aquadulce, Panama to Rio Hato, Panama with B-18s, a whole four miles. The 32nd Pursuit Squadron Interceptor, 36th Pursuit Group Interceptor, based at Lozi Field on the southern portion of Puerto Rico, sends a detachment of P-36As to Arecibo on the north coast. The squadron, primarily P-40s and P-39s by this time, was originally equipped with P-36s in November 1940 when they were based at Langley in Virginia. Moved to Lozi Field in January 1941, they now divide the squadron between the two fields. American assets are being stretched as far as they can to face largely unknown enemies. Turning to the zone of the interior, the 2nd Air Force joins the 4th Air Force in defense of the West Coast. Both are assigned today to the U.S. Army's Western Defense Command, an organization established on 17 March 1941 with complete authority over the defense of the East Coast on land, in the air, and along the coastline. In the Central Pacific Theater of Operations, the Hawaiian Air Force on Oahu transfers existing units from the inlet in Pearl Harbor at Hickam Field to along Waimanalo Bay at Bellows Field. These include the 58th Bombardment Squadron Light of A-20 Havocs, the 72nd Bombardment Squadron Heavy of B-18 Bolos. These are both of the 5th Bombardment Group Heavy. Meanwhile, today, six B-18s fly a sea search mission from the Hawaiian Islands in all directions, Similar missions by B-17s, B-18s, and A-20s are flown for the remainder of the year each and every day. On several occasions, submarines are sighted, and some are attacked. However, there is no positive evidence of hits, nor is there any positive evidence of submarines. Thus concludes today, Thursday, the 11th of December, 1941. Thank you for tuning in. This is Claire, and I am the Warbird Mistress. Take care.